Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to do this um, design. It's all gel polish, um, even the design. So let's get started. Um, I have this finger. I already filed and buffed. I'm, not, I'm just going to take off the... I'm going to remove the dirt with alcohol. Okay, and then I'm going to start with the base, it's going to be white, because it has a design on it, so I'm going to take it off, or I'm just going to put white all over it, and then I'm going to start with a different color. Okay, so I think one will do good because I'm going to do two of the other ones, so... I'm just going to do one of my base. It's going to be white. So I'm, I'm using the, sense, the sensational, the sensational LED. Um, but with these polishes, you can use either... Okay, I'm gonna let it cure for a minute. So the color I have on my nails is this. The zebra print is this white. It's called White on White by Gel um, by China Glaze. It's the Gel Gelays, <clears throat> and the color I have on is called Pool Party. Oh. It's like this intense pink color. Okay, so that cured. It looks cool. <laughs> Look at the bottom with the nail. Okay, so I'm gonna. <clears throat> but the color I want to try is this. It's I got this one yesterday. It's called um, Pink Voltage, and it's also by China Glaze. So this is going to be my color. So I'm going to add two coats of this. And this is like a shimmery. It has like a uh, like a shimmery, like a shimmer to it. So you want to cap the edges. So I'm going to cure it for the minute. You can still see the white on the bottom, so it's okay because I'm going to do another coat. Um, I wanted to tell y'all too, um, I watched a video, a couple of videos on YouTube about, um, people doing gel polishes on their nails and um, they get like you could see my um, free edge and they're not pulled back and they're, they have color on them um, some people when they cure it or whatever it pulls back and you can see the free edge but um, I used this it's from finger paints it's called um, chip free bonder and it's all you do is just like it smells like a primer but all you do is just like dab it on the edge of your free on the free edge and then you do your color your color over that and it helps it so it won't chip so let me do another t another coat
This is such a pretty color. I don't I didn't think it was gonna be that pretty. Um right now at Sally's the gel all the entire nail polish stock, even gel colors, are buy two buy two get one free and you can mix and match colors. I was gonna get more finger paints, but I just love these um these these uh gel china glaze ones because they already have the base coat in it so i'm gonna cure that again you see how pretty the color is look how bright that is very beautiful so i'm gonna cure it again for the another 30 minutes um 30 seconds and then i'm gonna show you how i did my design Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my god, I should have used this color. <laughs> I love this color. It's so pretty. Okay, so um, it has the tacky layer on it. The inhibition, it's called inhibition layer, um, I believe. Um, so you want to take that off. So you're going to spray your little pad with alcohol. And then you want to just remove it. So there you go. It'll be like that. It's all dull and ugly, but don't worry. So you're going to get, I'm going to use this little, it had glitter in it, but this side is clean. So I'm going to use this and I'm, all I'm going to do is put a couple of drops in here of my gel polish, my white on white. There, that'll be good. That's a one big drop. And then I have these um, brushes I got from CM Nail Supply. I'm going to use number one. And then all I'm going to do is dip and start doing my zebra prints. You can make them as thick and as thin as you want. And the good thing about this is it's gel. It's not cured. Um, you can... You can, like... If you don't like how one came out, no problem. Just wipe it off and do it again. And then you can just like, if one is too light, just go over it again. See, there's the little zebra print. I think I can do a little one right here because it looks empty, like right in the front. I'm going to try. It's 
see so and then all you have to do with your brush is like just get it and that's it just wipe it off and then now we're gonna cure this so you just I hope y'all like it let me see Okay, so all you're going to do is just cure it. I'm, I'm going to leave it till the light turns off. I think it's going to be the full minute. Only because it's, um, I want it to cure properly. I mean, you can, it'll cure with, with just like 30 seconds, but I want to leave it the whole 30 minutes just to make sure my... My polish, my design doesn't mess up when I go and clean it. Or when I add my top coat, sorry. So the, I'm going to use the top coat by Gel, um, gel China Glaze too. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, so that's how it looks. And now I'm going to do my top coat. They have a matte top coat for gel. I want to go get that. I saw it um, yesterday when I went, but they were out. I saw they had it on the little ticket. I asked the lady, y'all have matte coats for gel polishes? She's like, yeah, we just got them in. I'm like, oh my god, I want one. She's like, we just got them in and we sold out. Okay, so there we go. And now you just cure it for 30 seconds. Oh, I just stuck my finger in the gel. I, I like gel polishes better than just painting my nails with regular nail polish. Because I'm so clumsy. Like, I can't have nail polish on my nails. Because as soon as I paint them, I'll bump some, some, I'll bump my nails. Or I can't, I don't like to wait for them to dry. So, um, I'm so impatient. And plus, I'm so clumsy. Like, I will bump my nail. Like, it's not even funny. I would, I'll smudge the polish a lot. And then I would have to do it again. Retouch up, retouch up. And like, it's not, I don't like polish. It's not worth it to me. But I have a bunch. But, um, to me, i rather do gel polish than nail polish. Okay, so now we're going to take alcohol. See, I'm just using alcohol. And then I'm going to take off the tacky layer there we go there it is I hope y'all enjoyed this um, you can use the gel polish to do designs um, I remember I tried it once and I, I didn't get it, but it's because I was doing it wrong. But this is proof that you can use gel polish. And it feels... Uh, <laughs> mine's feels like, mine's are smooth, but this one feels kind of bumpy, I guess, because I put more polish. It's like more thicker and mine's are thin. It's hard to do my right hand. I'm right-handed, and it's hard to do, to use my left hand to do zebra prints. It's just like, I don't know, but I think I'm getting better at it. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this um, tutorial. This is how it comes out. This is the result. 
Um, please comment below if you liked it or if you have any tips or any ideas or anything y'all want me to, to a tutorial y'all want me to do. I'll try and I'll see if I can do it. Um, just comment below. So thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye.